Hello YouTube, Zach the Fiend Akinad here, and for those of you new to this channel, welcome. I shit on Jake Monroe? No. Uh, that's uh, very, very infrequently, but... Um, uh, for those of you returning, welcome back. Either way, get comfortable. Actually, I'm hoping this will be a relatively short video, since this is a relatively easy trick, but unfortunately, uh, you're going to feel... Well, at least I sure as, hell, sure as hell felt this way. You're going to feel a bit like an idiot once you learn this number one trick that I suggest all baby bats, all goth novices use to figure out whether or not a song or even an entire band is actually goth or not. Because this is a stupidly easy trick. Okay, let's see. There's two ways I can say this. Uh, there's... A way where I'm like a dick and I just make you wait till the end of it to learn, but um tempting as that is, I'm I'm I might as well just say it. I might as well just say it. Goth is its own music genre. You've got one mouth and two ears. So as often as you're blabbering on with this fucking thing. About what your eyes, which you shouldn't even trust 100% of the way. One out of five of your main senses, you're going to trust what your eyes are telling you, right? And maybe you see a favorite band, like, fucking Motionless and Wyatt, throw over their head banging, right? You might think, based on especially the social narrative, uh, mainstream society's fallacies, their propaganda-esque idea of what constitutes as goth, particularly goth rock, uh, that that sums it all up. It's like, no, dude, you've got two ears, so you should be listening just as often as you're talking. Maybe twice as much, maybe even three times as much. You'll learn quicker that way. I'll be the first to admit, yeah, I uh, I went through a similar point in my life. I thought that the fashion was just as significant as the genre, if not more so. The thing about this, though, is that people who say this are also the types who say that they want to evolve goth by saying that it's more than just a genre, that it's more than just music. Like a fucking religion? You're basing it all on guesswork and opinions and insanity? Are you, are you, are you serious? It was already an aesthetic before. Why would you devolve it? That's, that's just not how anything evolves at all. It's like that one scene in Monty Python's Life of Brian where he loses a shoe and his gourd. Everybody's just thinking, oh, hey, he must be some sort of a messiah. Let's follow the gourd. Let's take off our shoe. Let's kowtow before the one with the mighty neck beard and uh, what the hell are those things called? Um, it's the thing that looks like half a bra. Jewish people wear them. Uh, the yarmulke. He was wearing a yarmulke. Follow, follow, follow the... <laughs> what, were the what the hell were they even calling him anyway? Yeah, n none of that guesswork applies here. It's music-based. It's always been music-based, and it always will be. Now, another common fallacy is that you should only listen to goth music. Maybe that were true... Maybe that would be true if it were a sort of counterculture. Maybe if it were all about anarchy in the first place, that would be true. You know, just the whole goal would be to buck the norm. I really don't think that's the goal, though. Not at this point. Especially in COVID times, the, the the only goal we have anymore is to just stay alive and to stay happy. So hopefully this saves you the embarrassment and the eventual disappointment, given that it's more than just how you look or even how you feel. I mean, you, you think I give a shit about whether or not uh, my wall looks the way that it does? This thing has been fucked for years, and I only just got around to painting it, and I'm happy with it now, but... I, I didn't really give enough of a shit to mention it until just now. You probably didn't even notice until I showed it to you. That's that's how insignificant it really is. And when it comes to aesthetical shit especially, that's almost half my content these days. I'm almost always showing some sort of a horror prop. I showed you a while back my hand of glory and some big old some big old bleeding heart, right? Yeah, the amount of jokes I could do with that alone, but uh those videos do just about as well as what few music-related videos I do, pulling out whole CDs. You remember those things? I very much doubt it. It's pretty ironic. Uh, not not to not to do any side tangents here, but 
Anyone else notice how um, so many people, especially in the alt community, it doesn't even matter if you're goth, people are going, oh, hey, uh, you know that one vinyl album? It's like, no, nobody listens to those anymore. I'm sure there's a select few that love the fuck out of them, but personally, I've always been a CD dude. Yep, for some reason or another, I don't I don't even think these mooks can follow their own advice. These posers, right? The Paul types. Give brother a thumbs up if you get that reference. It's one of my own, for once. I am a firm believer, if belief even applies here, that your life, not just as a goth, but as just a regular human being, will only get easier the more you do your own research, the more you do what other non-goths especially will not do, and just educate yourself. Just do your own research. It is actually the most rewarding, magical, funny little feeling that you can get, realizing it's it's like um, it's like when Neo takes the red pill in the Matrix. You remember that shit? That little nugget of information. You swallow that with a little water. It's like you wake up. You're pulling tube. You're pulling tubes out, big black tubes. You're looking around. You're going, oh shit. I was wrong the whole fucking time. Yeah, maybe it won't be exactly like that, but... I don't know. It felt like that for me. So... Hopefully, um... Hopefully that makes enough sense. And like I said, you don't have to... You don't have to listen to goth music all the time. I mean, hell. Part of the reason goths even look the way that they do is because... They're influenced by their favorite musicians. And back when I was listening to, especially... The Rosetta Stone and London After Midnight as often as I did. As well as The Sisters of Mercy especially. I had almost no facial hair. I listened to a few songs by Static X and I've already got a chin curtain. Four score and rock the fuck on. If you like, please like. Feel free to share obscure little thoughts in the comments below. As well as to share the video itself. Subscribe if you wish to see more. Don't forget to hit the bell if you do. And as always, thank you so very much for watching. And I love you all.